You ready? Yes, sir. <clears throat> All right, yo. It's your boy D Starks. It's Jordan, Starks artist. We tuned in to yes, the Just sir. Different podcast, yes, episode one. We back. We back with it. What we What we talk about today, though? We're talking about the mind games. Today. Mind, ga- mind, mind games. games. Mind games. Look, Chris, listen. What What you think on your life is ultimately gonna move into? Mm. Period. Mm. It's very simple. Mm. So you know what they say. What? You are what you think. Who said that? I just came up with it. <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro. It's, it's, it's in the Bible, though. Actually. The Proverbs. Uh, somewhere in there. As a man thinketh. Oh. So is he. So is he. Ooh, so really. Yeah. Okay. As so I didn't really so make it up. I didn't really make it up. It's important, though. Because like, we don't... I don't think we think about that too often in terms of like our mind. Yeah. Like, it matters what you listen to. It matters what you're looking at. All that. I like... I think someone said it like this. Basically, like your diet doesn't just consist of what you physically eat. Ooh. It's about what you're seeing, listening, yep. and allowing yourself yep. to hear. Because that's going to ultimately manifest in your life. Exactly. That's good. Yeah. Because what I think our youth pastor said one time, he did a message on this. It was like, yeah. what you magnify in your mind, it's going to manifest in your life. <sighs> I think I remember that. Remember that? Yeah. yeah. That's good. Your life is always going to move in the direction of your strongest thought. Then you just dropping down. <laughs> like, I was down after down. <laughs> I got a lot. All those are captions, bro. Nah, for real. Like, always, you always move in the direction of your strongest thought. Mm. So the question is, what, what, are you, what are you thinking about? What are you thinking about? What's on, what's on your mind? What you what you watching? What you eating? It's on your mind. <laughs> <laughs> what you eating? What you oh yeah, what you eating? Ooh. Oh, that's fire. Yeah, I like that. Cause we just we just went over this. It's not it's not just physical. What you what you eating? Feeding your spirit. Eating. Feeding your mind. Spiritual your food. Spiritual food. Mm. That's important too. Yeah. We don't think about that enough. Mm. I don't actually think about that enough, for real. Cause we talk we're talking about that. Like even music you listen to, like the, the more you play that in your mind, that's even though even if you're not consciously thinking about it, it's still playing. Mm. It's still going. Yeah, that's something I didn't even realize till I really started um, growing in my relationship with God. It's like, dang, the stuff you watch and see it really affects you. Oh, hundred percent. Because you don't think it does, but yeah. it's, it's all subconscious. All subconscious. So it's always gonna come up. It's gonna come up and like show itself. Yeah, but and it's it's with the repetition. That's rep- repetition is dangerous. The repetition piece, yeah. Ooh, the I, I heard this and it was like your mind cannot resist the temptation to believe what is regularly repeated. Ooh. Mm. I was like, man, that stuck with me. Cause he was talking about like, I guess positive affirmation. No, he's talking about like parents okay. and as kids, like how so important to be very vigilant about like what your kids are watching or guess yeah. just because they can't really decipher information. So mm-hmm. what they're being repeated, their brain is going to believe. Ooh. It doesn't matter what it is. It has to. It mm. can't resist the temptation. It doesn't have the ability to. Mm. That's great. That's good. And yeah. speaking of kids, I feel like your mind, You have. A, we have a lot of like, mm, what's what I'm looking for? Like, like hidden trauma and things that we're dealing with deep like in our minds that we don't realize that we're really dealing with until we like take a minute to study ourselves that goes into like mind games exactly that's why i brought it up (laughs) that's what this episode's about (laughs) what you (laughs) you mean i'm just saying like in terms of like yeah but like how your mind be playing games on you yeah i was just saying because i feel like it's important because what's the statistic in the first like five years of your life that's where you're most vulnerable you're soaking up everything like a sponge. So yeah. everything you see, everything you hear, and those things are affecting you till this day, whether you realize it or not. So that's why it's Facts. important for you to go back, study yourself, study your reactions, study how you react to certain things, how you see certain things, why you think certain ways. You know what I mean? It's, yeah. it's a lot deeper. Because your perspective, perspective is everything. Exactly. Yeah. God cares about that because you have to have proper, proper perspective of him. Ooh, that's good. To really like live out what he wants you exactly wants exactly. you to have in life. Yeah. So he want ooh, he wants your soul. We're we're keep we're talking, a three part talking. being. I was just listening to this. Yeah. We're mind. Well, we're body. Yeah. We're spirit, 
and we're mind. Talk to him. Or rather your soul. Talk to him. Same difference, right? And so your body is obviously like what you're physically in. Yeah. And then your spirit is what's intangible with what like God's giving you. Right? Yeah. And your soul sits in the middle and chooses every day. You wake up every day making a decision. I'm gonna follow the flesh. Yep. I'm gonna follow the spirit. It's a constant fight. Constant, constant tug of war. Yep. So you gotta like you gotta feed your spirit. And starve your flesh. That's I why love saying that. That's why the Bible says, "He who wins souls is wise." You have to work out your soul's salvation. Work out your souls. Bro, say well, that. why? Why isn't he who wins spirits is wise? Because it's about the soul. About your soul. It's about the what soul. What you're thinking in your mind? Because yeah. you can be, like, especially, oh, because even for me personally, I can say, whenever I got saved, like I came to God and I, I gave my life to Him at the altar. But I still left with some, the same habits. Mm. I still left with a lot of the same mindsets you I had. You still left with the same So mind. my spirit was saved, but I had to go back home and I had to work on my mind. Right. On my perspective, on like understanding who God was, who he called me to be, and like just changing all that. Because that's really where the work happens. Exactly. It's all about the mind, bro. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy to me. I, like That's how it happened. So. For real. And then... Were you, you going to say something about repetition earlier? Or did I, did I miss that? Oh. <laughs> did you know? I thought you, like, like piggybacked off it. I don't, I don't remember what you said, to be honest. But, yeah, I was just saying repetition is dangerous. It's a, it's a weapon that could either use in a good way or a bad way. It could be very powerful either way. It's like, what's, um, how did I hear one song? The more you make a choice, the harder it is to choose otherwise. Repetition is dangerous. And that's when it's become subconscious. That's facts. The harder you make a choice, the harder it is to choose otherwise. Mm. I like that. Yeah. So you got to make that even daily decisions, daily disciplines matter. Exactly. Right. Because I even like in prayer, because I remember at a time, like I was saying we were on fire for God or whatever. Yeah. Praying every day. I ain't miss a day. I ain't miss a day. <laughs> Didn't miss a day. And obviously, as I did that more, it was harder to do otherwise. Exactly. Because it became a part of what I did and it's, who I was. It's about the repetition. What I was in my mind. It's about the repetition. That's how habits, good habits and bad habits are formed. It's a, another statistic. It's like it takes like a month to form a good habit or something like that. You have to do I, I don't know. If, you're going to have to fact check that. No, it's something <laughs> like that. No, wait. Hold no, on. No, 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 bro. No, I heard that before. It's like 21 days or something. Oh, well, yeah, a month is roughly like 30 days. It's like 21 days. I, don't, I mean, I've heard that. It sounds good. I heard this, bro. It sounds what? good because it's long enough to be believable, <laughs> and it's short enough, it's short enough to be achievable. So people, right. like, that's what people say that. Right, that could be right, true, right. though. I heard it. I hear it enough. Right. Go on, go on. My bad. But yeah, that's all I had to say. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> like, basically, it, it takes time to form good habits, and that's why the repetition is important. It has to be every single thing, I mean, uh, every yeah. single day thing. It, start, it starts with your mind. Right. Yeah. And I think we don't realize that enough. Like, God cares about your thought life. Your thought life. Yo. Your thought life. What's going through it. Because I know I've I've struggled with that. What is um, off topic a little? Not, it's on topic. But what is a will? Like, what what, what is your will? A will. Our soul is our mind, our will, and our emotions. So I was sitting here thinking, like, what exactly is a will? Our soul is a mind. I guess it's our, like mm, our decisions, okay. like our ability to do what we want, mm, right? In a way, like we have, you have free will, right? Right. So no one's controlling our decisions, right? You can do it, okay? Like, oh, the way I think about it is, oh, even just bringing me to the topic of like you got to protect your mind. Right, because right. we've been talking about that the whole time, but yeah. really being diligent about what you're allowing to come around you, Ooh, right? The, the people you're allowing to speak in your yeah. life, and even the things you're allowed to get to you, and like on a day to day basis, mm. right? The things that disrupt your peace. Mm. If it costs your peace, it's not worth it at all. Got to keep your peace in mind. It's that simple. Yeah, because I mean, like, I made a video a while ago, and it was like. I was saying that you're ultimately in control of what you allow to affect you. So Ooh. it's never, they made me mad. Mm. I allowed them to make me mm. upset. So, so That's it's a hard concept that I had to learn. So it's, happiness, learning. so it's happiness or choice? Let me ask you that. 
<laughs> Whoa, bro. <laughs> Whoa. Um, man. Yeah. In some ways, like of course, you gotta have those exceptions of like people who are like you know mentally ill, like depressed, like right. you have a chemical imbalance in your yeah. brain, all that good stuff. But like, you know, outside of those things, most most definitely, it has yeah. to be. The way the way I see it is like you said, for the most part, let me put it like this: your emotions are just how your thoughts feel. So nine times out of ten, well, you hold can't up, hold up. Rewind, bro, because that that went over my head. I don't know what you talking like. About. <laughs> I don't know what you talking about. You didn't look. I was going to explain. <laughs> okay, go ahead, go ahead. Say it again and explain. <laughs> okay, so I would feel like this: emotions are just how your thoughts feel. Meaning, I can't be f- right now presently feeling a feeling unless I first thought something that provoked that feeling. Nine times out of ten. Nine times out of ten, I can't be feeling an emotion unless something happened or a thought came to my head that made me feel that. Which means it's all in your head. If you control your thoughts, if you control your mind, you control your emotions. Control your mind, control I your think, life. I think some people think, like, I don't know, emotions, I don't know how to explain it. Like, you, Some people think they can't be controlled. Some people think it just happens, like, and they can't. It's they, out of look, their control. They do happen, but you have the ability. Like, you can get upset about something. If my mom gets on my nerves, like, right. doesn't mean which happens. You know what I mean? She be tripping. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> so I can get upset about that. I can be. You have to be real with yourself. I'm upset about it, but I'm not going to allow it mm, okay. to disrupt my peace. Right, right. That's right, a lesson right. I'm learning right now. Cause like I used to pretend and be nonchalant and indifferent, like it didn't get to me and I was making it worse. You have to be real mm. with yourself. Yo, that situation hurt me, but I'm gonna take the proper steps to heal so I'm not allowing it to take up my mental right. space. Okay. You I miss me? I missed the abs- aspect of what I was trying to say. Basically mm-hmm. what it plays into what I said, like um emotion just how your thoughts feel. Sometimes you can't control the thoughts that come to your head, but you can control the ones you allow to stay there. So be real. Like I'm thinking this thought right now, like this is very much real. But I get to control if it stays there. Thanks. I get I get to control if I meditate on that thought. How strong it is. Exactly. Yeah. That's a good point. <clears throat> it's pretty fire. It's happiness mm-hmm. of choice. You really had mm-hmm. to hit me with that. I had to. Was, they they got it. You know. Is that they? controversial? We're gonna get canceled. <laughs> Not already. <laughs> Episode one. Not F one. Ah. <laughs> it's happiness of choice. That's a good point, bro. Mm-hmm. But all of that, everything, man. What you think on your life and move into? That's what it comes down to. That. Especially not like this time. We got so much information being thrown at us, and like every which media. way. I like, guess a va- battle of your mind. The war is over your mind. Everything you see is battling for your attention. They constantly. want your attention. Period. Mm. Social media, uh, advertisements, me- like brands, institutions, Everything. they all want your mind. So you have for to your protect mind. it at all costs. Mm. At all times. Have to meditate on the word. There's a scripture that says something like that I can't think about. But meditate on it day and night. Mm. Right? It's got to be what I, you're feeding yourself. About. Yeah. So you stay strong. And that's how, like, ultimately, you got to be spirit controlled. Basically, what that means is your mind and your thoughts are subject to God's word. Oof, spirit control. Spirit control. Not not mind control. Spirit control. Not on cruise control. <laughs> spirit <laughs> control. Spirit y'all. control. Let me tell you, it's not it's not easy either. Oh, a lot of things are easier said than done. Oh, hundred percent. But it's. It's what we need to do. Exactly. It's gonna be worth. It's worth. You it, gotta man. take the necessary steps. Always. I heard it from TD Jakes. You said you can stare at the next level all you want, but if you don't take the steps to get there, you're not gonna make it. I can do. I can stay. Stay in the building, right? I can. I can stare at the second level all right. I want. I can do all the praying and hoping. Take me to the second level. Take, take me to the second level, please, please, please. <laughs> but if I don't walk up them steps and take the necessary actions I need to to get there, then you know, it's not gonna happen. So we stand there. Well, look. Yeah. Right, we end off at. That's yeah. it. Yo, yeah. take the next steps. Take the next step. Mm. Take the next steps to controlling your mind, mm. submitting to God's will, yep. and His purpose, and being spirit controlled. Spirit controlled. Wow. Well, what you think on your life to move into, man? Well, that's it, man. We, we'll hey. be back next Hope week. Y'all enjoy. That's, that's you know EP1, saying? man. Hope y'all learned something new today. Always, bro. Much love. Stay you, stay real, stay humble. Yes, sir. We'll catch y'all.